Okay, I got a box in the mail today. I wanted to open it with you. One of my favorite words on it, as far as cooking appliances. KitchenAid. Do you know what it is? Let's find out. here. Oh, another box. All right, here we go. It's certainly packaged tightly in here. <clears throat> Let's say KitchenAid food processor. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of parts to this. Something new to learn. All right, now we're getting to the nitty gritty. Let's see what we have here. Okay, there's the base. I had a lot of colors to pick from, but I thought the silver looked really nice. Kind of blends in with the refrigerator and other appliances without adding a different color here in the kitchen. And there's lots of parts. However, what I liked about this one is that all the, all the blades and pieces and parts are all contained within the bowl. It's a large bowl, that's for sure. It's 13 cups. But everything gets nestled into the inside. Okay. All right. Now the bowl is 13 cups, and it contains most of the parts here, so it's a nice place to store things. Let's unopen the latch. And there's a picture here that shows how to stack everything in. I'm going to keep that. <laughs> It'll be like putting a puzzle together. All right, here's one piece. I really don't know what to call all these pieces yet, but this has a grid blade. So if you're making cubes, I saw them demonstrate that. It goes into that, through that. Then you have a lift out rack here. One of the features that I liked when I thought about getting this is it has a spindle in the middle that seals the liquid. So when you want to clean it up, you can add dishwashing liquid, you can add water in here, and you can run it like a self-cleaning thing. So the liquid won't be oozing out of some food processors in the past that I've had, had a, a hole in the top there. And if you had too much liquid, it would pour out. This will be contained. Yeah, I never had a food processor so fancy as this. Let's see what's inside the rack of tools. Slicing blades. So sharp. There's ones to mix where you can just mix the and blend into the bottom. This is the dicing cleaning tool so that when you're using the dicer, you can clean it this way and push the food out. This is some kind of blending blade. It's not real sharp. It says store it this side up.
This is a multi-purpose blade and it is very sharp. There's some other parts and accessories that get stored into this rack that is lowered into your bowl to store it. Okay, according to the picture, we have everything out now. All right, here's all the pieces. I really have to read and learn about this and watch some uh, instruction videos. And I want to really get to maximize this appliance because this is a real beauty. It can do so much stuff. It can even make dough and pizza dough and bread dough, all kinds of things. In addition to chopping and dicing and slicing every vegetable that we bring into this house. So I'm going to go over it and learn about it and I'll show you more about it later. Okay, to end this unboxing video, I kind of wanted to show you a little bit more of the power of this machine. So since I was getting ready to make some soup today, I thought I'll show you how to cut up these vegetables using the slicing blade. So hope that helps you to see how the machine works. I won't show you every single blade, but we will in the future when we make some other things. Right, Rick? Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's how the thing is closed up and put away on your countertop. The only thing that does not fit is the French fry blade, which they gave us as an extra, and the lid that you can put on this container if you want to just store what you made in the refrigerator without this contraption on top. Okay? So that's the only thing that doesn't fit. And again, that didn't really come with this. It was just a bonus for this purchase. So everything else can be stored in here. Isn't that nice? It's really great. So I'll take it apart again here just to show you. First is our feeding tubes. Both of them are in there. And the lid snaps down over here. And then, you want to come up close? Right, first thing we're going to take out is the blade that dices. Next, we'll take the whole caddy out. This little lifting feature here. The first blade on here is the shredder. It shreds fine on this side, and it shreds thicker on this side. So you have some choices. Next is the slicing blade. And this has a kind of a gear kind of thing in here that you can adjust the thickness of how thick your vegetables are sliced. Now the rest of the caddy, as you saw before, it holds like the pin that things sit on. It holds the cleaner for the dicer. You can just push the food through. And another little device here I haven't learned how to use yet. So we'll put all these aside. We're going to use the spindle. Then there's a shorter hub that snaps into place here. And there's a dough, they call it a dough hook on this side. Just make your pizza dough and pie dough and everything. And a very sharp processing blade is on this side. Tucked in there safely so it stays away from your fingers. All right, let's get these out of the way and we can start slicing. Okay, with everything in place, we're just going to snap this latch. And if you did want to take this off, it goes straight up. It's very easy. The, sh the chute that goes in can be wide or narrow. That's why there's a separate, smaller one. Like if we had only skinny carrots, they might fit in there. But we're going to use the wider mouth to feed these vegetables in. There's settings for low, high, and off and pulse. I'm going to try to run these through on low and see how it goes. Now, 
The first thing we have to do here is adjust how thick we want the pieces to be. Now this part up here is what works with those little gears that I showed you. So it goes from goes from one to six. The other uh, a few moments ago when I explained this, I said seven, but it's from it's zero and one to six. So for very thin, we're going to go here, and that moves the blade to the right thickness. If you want it very thick, you can go all the way up to six. For this soup, I would like the carrots to be thick and substantial, so I'm going to feed the carrots through on six. All right, now I scrubbed the carrots and they're very nice, so I'm going to leave the skins on, but you could peel them if you wanted. But I think they're going to be nice, nutritious carrots for this soup. So let's just put a couple in the tube here. And I'm going to put it on low. Let's see if I have to push it through or if they... All right, I'm, it worked very well on low. It kind of fed itself through, but if you want to keep the pieces the same, you probably should push it through or guide it. Let's try it on high. Do you believe how fast we can cut these carrots? <laughs> this is great. All right, now we have our car carrots shredded in a thick, the thickest setting that we can have. Now we have celery. This is a 13 cup bowl. I think it can handle this much. So let's try it on high again. That's nice. If you pack the tube uh, evenly, it should flow right through there. Ready? Wow. All right, let's add a little bit of red and white onion to this mix. And these I'm going to shred a little smaller. I'm going to say the medium thickness. Soup is ready to go. <laughs> We're going to put this in a recipe later for carrot, kale, and white bean soup. And all the chopping is done. And it was just part of our unboxing video for a little bit of a demonstration. So you can see how much time this will save you. Also, <clears throat> you can do this kind of stuff ahead of time. Save some carrots for one kind of meal. Save some celery for another kind of meal. Just get a couple little prep bowls and you're on your way. All right, let's take it off. I want to show you how easy it is to take this lid off. All you do is open it and pull straight up. Nothing fancy. Then we'll take the blade out. And lift the bowl straight up. Look at that. <laughs> now that's a medium shred. That's a medium chop. That's a thick chop. And you saw the carrots to start. That's a great bowl of vegetables, and just think how quick that just happened. <laughs> now this is also self-cleaning, so we can dump this out into the soup pot and self-clean it with some dishwashing liquid and some water. Or if I want to cook this later on in the day, all I have to do is put on the refrigerating storage lid, close it up, and put it in the fridge. I'm really happy with this machine. I can't wait to see the possibilities. But I just wanted to show you the first little try here. 
so you can get an idea how powerful it is. Alright, thanks for watching this unboxing video.